Los Angeles, September 10. Filmmaker Barry Jenkins appeared on stage at the world-renowned Disney Fan Festival D23 Expo to officially announce Mufasa, The Lion King, which is a prequel to the upcoming Lion King movie. The film was originally planned in 2020 as an update to the film of the same name, Mufasa. The film is the story of the birth of the legendary Disney father, focusing on his childhood with Scar, his younger brother. Scar? The movie will have the voices of Aaron Pierre and Calvin Harrison J.R. Dot as younger versions of the characters as well as filling in the role of James Earl Jones as Mufasa in both the original 1994 version as well as the 2019 CGI remake, as well as Jeremy Irons and Chiveta Lehiofo as the Ska, the villain. Ska, in addition to announcement of the title, an exclusive footage of the film was shown to attendees of the D23 exhibition, as reported by Variety. The film began with Rafiki, John Kani, telling the story of Mufasa's story to young cubs and revealed that the lion was an orphan cub that was forced to travel the world by himself until he was able to become the king of Pride Rock. In this way, the film expands beyond the famous Pride Lands to show him as a young lion in the desert, and how he is drowned by flooding and is then made an orphan. In this spot, the lion was born, but without even a drop of nobility in his blood. Rafiki narrates, the lion who would alter our lives for good forever. While it was short, the video also featured Billy Eichner's Timon, in a meta joke tag for the video. Wait wait wait, do I not belong in the story? I don't feel included. The Lion King is considered to be one of the most adored Disney films of ever, with the original remaining an extremely acclaimed classic making more than $960 million worldwide. The remake for 2019 which substituted the 2D art style of the first with more realistic CGI animal images received mixed reviews from critics, but was more successful than the original with a record in $1 billion at worldwide box office. Mufasa is Jenkins' third feature film after directing the Oscar award-winning Moonlight and, if Beale Street could talk, the release date for the film has not been set yet. DC, 888,111,110,888 Los Angeles, September 10, filmmaker Barry Jenkins appeared on stage at the Global Disney Fan Event D23 Expo to officially announce, Mufasa, The Lion King, a new prequel to the 2019, Lion King, film. Originally announced in 2020 as a sequel to the 2019 film, Mufasa, tells the origin story of the iconic Disney father exploring his childhood growing up with his brother Ska. The film will feature the voice of Aaron Pierre and Calvin Harrison J.R. Dot as younger versions of the characters, filling in for James Earl Jones as Mufasa in both the 1994 original and the 2019 CGI remake, and Jeremy Irons and Chiveta Lehiofo as the villainous Ska. In addition to announcing the title, exclusive preview footage of the film was shown to the audience of the D23 Expo. Reports Variety, the footage began with Rafiki, John Kani, telling the story of Mufasa to young cubs, revealing that the lion was actually an orphan cub who had to navigate the world alone until he rose to become the king of Pride Rock. As such, the film goes beyond the iconic Pride Lands to show him as a cub in a desert, where he is swept away by a flood and becomes an orphan. In this place a lion was born without a drop of nobility in his blood, Rafiki narrates, the lion who would change our lives forever. Although brief, the footage also included narration from Billy Eichner's Timon, in a meta joke tag for the footage. Wait wait wait, am I not in this story? I don't feel seen. The Lion King is one of the most beloved Disney properties of all time, with the original remaining a critically acclaimed classic and grossing over $960 million worldwide. The 2019 remake, which replaced the 2D art style of the original with realistic CGI animal renderings, received mixed reviews from critics but was even more successful, grossing over $1 billion at the global box office. Mufasa will be Jenkins' third feature film, after directing the Oscar-winning Moonlight and If Beale Street Could Talk, a release date for the film has not yet been announced. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to channel and click on bell for more daily videos.